was swimming with the dolphins. Jan Brown is a timeshare enthusiast. It was incredibly fun. It she was, has four so timeshares with her husband from Virginia experience. to Mexico. It's kind of making you take a vacation. Whether you want to take a vacation or not, you're saying, okay, um, I'm going to take this time, and this time is, is for me. It's for my family. It's for my friends. The costs can vary drastically depending on the week, the resort, and the size. Anywhere from a one-bedroom to a penthouse, the average costing about $20,000. If you don't use it, then you're losing money. Most timeshares used to be for a fixed week, so generally you would go to the same resort at the same time every year. But these days you can swap out your weeks by going to a designated website and finding a timeshare in a different location at a different time. You have the opportunity to experience different destinations. You can go local, you can go out of the country. We've gone to Scotland and actually stayed in a timeshare in Scotland. And now many companies use a point system to give members more flexibility. If you have enough points for a two bedroom, you may want to use all of your points to go one week in a two bedroom, or you could break it down and say, I'd rather go to two different places and use a one bedroom. Keep in mind, timeshares also have a maintenance fee, averaging around $600 a year, whether you use it or not. It's easy to fall in love with the idea of a timeshare, especially if you're enjoying a beautiful vacation. But don't feel pressured to buy on the spot. Take time to think about it so you can make sure you'll make the most of your investment. I'm Angie Moreski. It pays to be consumer wise.